So let's talk about this survey and let's talk about what it means if for some reason tax reform doesn't get done next week. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not good news, <laughs> let's just put it that way. So, so look, I think manufacturers are very bullish right now on the future of the American economy because of tax reform, because of regulatory reform, and because of a lot of the other things we're seeing from Washington that actually uh, that, that policymakers actually understand that it's important to grow the economy, create jobs, and invest in the United States. Jay, you and I talk about this for months now, just about how optimistic folks yeah. in the markets are. But, you know, I was just in Alabama. And for whatever reason, some are saying it was an anomaly. Some are saying it was, you know, the start of something new with the Democratic movement. But now the Republicans have a razor thin majority. When you look at next year, I mean, community bankers want reg relief. You guys, you know, manufacturers looking for some reg relief, spurring economic growth. How difficult is it going to be with this new majority being even more slim? Look, I don't care who I talk to. I yeah. don't care what political party they are. They want to see manufacturers and manufacturing workers succeed. And, you know, there can be degrees on that. But if you look at some of the more conservative members of the Democratic caucus, you mm -hmm. look at Joe Donnelly in Indiana, you look at Joe Manchin in West Virginia, look at Heidi Heidkamp yeah. uh, in North Dakota, who's a great champion of, of I think she has a 95 percent support for, for manufacturing. And I think that uh, the new senator from Alabama, Doug Jones is, I, you know, I've talked to him a couple times, yeah. and uh, and he really does care about the things that will make us competitive in this country. So we're going to be working with him and with anybody who wants to make sure that that manufacturing is strong. That's why 95 percent of manufacturers have an optimistic outlook. Are you guys optimistic about what has come out of the conference committee with tax reform? Well, look. Is it perfect? No. <laughs> and do we have all the details? No. no. We learned <laughs> after the Senate plan, we learned that uh, you might want to take a look at the fine print before you make too many, uh, too many statements. 21%, it's a heck of a lot better than we were. We thought that when the House and the Senate both said 20%, we were going to see 20%. We thought that there would be perhaps a little better treatment for, for S corporations and pass-through entities. But there can be no disagreement that this is much better for businesses than our old than our old. Uh, and system. very, very quickly, because we're against a hard stop, let me ask you. This, the Democrats are just saying this is only going to help rich people. It's only going to help CEOs. Here's what, Talk to the manufacturers. Absolutely. Here's what our manufacturers say. We've surveyed our 14,000 members. Two-thirds of them say that they will use a tax rebate to invest in more plants and equipment. Three-fifths say they'll hire new workers, and over half say that they'll raise wages and benefits for their existing workers. And workforce. we're going to hold them to hiring people.